Meow. Meow. Hi, it's Penny Bowden here, crazy cat artist. I just love this pose because of those little toe beans sticking out. So I'm going four times the speed here and just getting kitty shapes in. Good stage for corrections. Make sure the shapes look convincing. Just trying to keep a nice even flow so things look like they go together. Just tweaking things up here, getting some spots for eyes and popping those eyes in. Gotta move that nose over a bit so the face doesn't look too crooked. That said, a little bit of wonkiness, wonkiness adds character too. Yeah, please do join our cat drawing art workshop if you're really passionate about drawing cats. Check it out following the link in the video description. And I love to hear from you too in the comments below. So please do drop us a comment. Tell us about yourself or your cat or where you live in the world or whatever you want to tell us. Help build this amazing community of crazy cat artists. Now I'm tweaking things a little more as I slow down. Just want to make sure everything looks convincing. I uh, wasn't sure if I liked what I did with the nose, so I seem to remember I wipe it out and try again. That's the beauty of doing these videos. I can often, when I watch the videos as I'm doing the work, as I'm doing the voiceover, um, I notice I should have stopped sooner than I did. or It's just an extra way of learning about my art by being able to watch it in video. And give us a, the video a like and subscribe to the channel. Helps our community of crazy cat artists too. Now we're speeding up. Polish off this drawing. Going 10 times the speed now. While I continue to voice over. Yeah, this is where I muck with the face a lot. A few tries at it. Yeah, I like that better. More subtle nose. I don't like the nose to stand out too much. And those lovely toe beans. Maybe to do it again, I would leave the toe beans a little bit lighter. I don't know why it keeps going back and forth. It's weird. Sometimes it does that. You know, keep them a little lighter just to add a little more variation in the drawing. Variation in values and also in thickness and thinness of lines and things. All of that adds to the interest of the drawing. I took a few tries at the... I like the eyes the first time I got them, um, but... I felt like the, the nose and mouth needed to shift up a bit. So that's what I did there. Some suggestion of markings. Now we're going to add the whiskers. The fin oh yeah, I got the whiskers coming from the wrong place the first time there. So I had to do it again. But you know, all those extra lines that you leave behind, they just add background tone. That's what's beautiful about this type of sketching. Thank you so much for watching today and we'll see you next time.